name is Kaya Lindsay, and my whole thing is I kind of live in a sprinter van and travel around rock climbing. And on the side, I am trying to do my own little documentary film series about women traveling on the road. I have a little house close to town. living in my van for almost three years now. This is Lyra. She's a 2006 Dodge Sprinter van. She is my life's work at this point. <laughs> so I was actually on track to be a history teacher and I decided that I was gonna switch up my career and uh, buy a Sprinter van and turn it into a home and I was gonna have that be my senior thesis project at this super hippie liberal arts college that I went to. And I did. <laughs> then I kind of hit the road and on accident came here. It's, yeah, it's a nice little community of people out here. Favorite place in the whole world. We're going California, but we're all out of work. I guess that's better than a grave and a hearse. So, so when I first started building out the van, I remember looking and seeing mostly solo dudes or like straight white couples. So my perception of hitting the road uh, alone it was like, okay, it's just gonna be me. I'm gonna be the only woman out there, and it's gonna be a little weird. And like, I'm just gonna, you know, I, I'm a solo female traveler. I can do this. And then, when I kind of got out here, I was really amazed at how many other um, solo female travelers there were, and also um, kind of like the community that I was welcomed into felt really supportive and amazing. And I met a whole bunch of other women who like would be like, oh, let's go climbing, and just like. They were all on their own. This girl I met, Allison, who I've done a video on, she basically just decided to help me learn how to trad climb out of the kindness of her heart. She was like, yeah, I'll dedicate two weeks of my life to teaching you how to do this. She basically mentored me to do everything that I can do now. For the first time in my life, I really felt like I had found something that was worth doing all the time and that made me really happy. bonds you build with people and like the beautiful places that you get to see and the physical, the mental, the emotional challenge, all of it really comes together in a way that's just so perfect for me. Living in a van is really simple and like forces you to be minimalist and forces you to, you know, I have maybe seven to 12 gallons of water on me at any given moment. It's like, how much water do you use in a house every day? Leave no trace principles, I think, are really important. And also, um, you know, protecting this land for people who want to use it for future generations, you know, I think is, um, it wasn't something I, I, I would, I, it's, I would have said I care about it, but I didn't have any like tangible reason to. So it's like, you know, lower impact, um, minimalism, you know, environmentalism, living closer to nature, knowing yourself, like all those things I think are really important. I definitely am a different person. I feel like I am, I mean, I hope <laughs> I am kinder. And I think you you grow up doing rock climbing a little bit faster than other people because it's such a high consequence, low risk, high consequence sport, you know? And so like just grappling with the real consequences of, if I fuck this up, I will die. <laughs> I struggle with that being able to like justify my actions because um, at the end of the day like rock climbing and doing all this is inherently very selfish. Rock climbing in particular, it doesn't benefit anyone except for me. <laughs> it actually you know costs a lot of money and takes away from a lot of people because I don't go see them because I'm rather rock, I'd rather be rock climbing and, and also like I'm never going to be a famous rock climber. Like I'm never going to be anyone because I rock climb. It's just because I absolutely love it and I can't imagine doing anything else. All right and you can dirt me. Weirdly, that's a hard thing to like rationalize with like success. It's hard to be like, oh yeah, I'm doing everything. I'm doing the right thing because I'm doing what I love all the time. But I'm not making any money. I'm really happy, but <laughs> <laughs> both my parents are artists, and they did what they loved, and that was the most important thing. And so that was the thing that they tried to instill in me. 
that's really special. Like, I, I don't take that for granted. I think that, you know, a lot of people's parents don't tell them that. You know what? You can eat Cheerios. You'll be fine. Like, <laughs> you're not going to die. Like, <laughs> come back with us. Some, if you need to live in the house, like, well, you know, we'll feed you. And <laughs> you can always get a job at, like, a Starbucks or something. So... As far as like challenges with the van, I mean, I've had four transmissions in a year now. And, you know, I learned how to work on my car, uh, which was really cool. That was one of the things I wanted to learn how to do. I would say don't think about living in a van as like solved your problems. Living in a van actually adds a lot of problems to your life. It really depends on where you are in your life, I think. If you're psyched and you have like a passion and a purpose for hitting the road, I think it's going to be a lot easier for you trying to scratch like build a life out of something that doesn't exist yet can be really challenging the idea of settling down sounds nice like having a house would be pretty cool it's like i don't want to pay rent and i have a really nice house i can just live in um it would be nice to oh no <laughs> do you need help <laughs> Since I've been doing kind of like the solo female van life thing, I've noticed that there is for sure a lot of media emphasis on using the like girl in a van as a way to sell things. But there's not a lot of stories about these women actually out there. I don't know if you've seen Free Solo, Alex Honnold's movie. The first thing he says about his girlfriend is that she's small, she makes the van look nice, doesn't take up a lot of room. And I was just like, Oh, it just grates at me. And I think that there is a, an element of me being more sensitive to it because this is my life and like maybe other people uh, from the outside wouldn't notice it as much. I always joke it's like my ultra feminist liberal, liberal agenda is to like tell the world that women are people. The narrative is, you know, there's a guy in a van who wanted to do this thing and his girlfriend came with him. You know, I've seen a lot of Instagram accounts where it's just like girls in vans. You basically just show people photos of women climbing and sell t-shirts. But like, who are these women? What are they doing? And so I wanted to kind of shed more light on that and also just like showcase my friends who are super badass and like strong and independent and funny and dirty mouthed and all that stuff. And I'm gonna flood the internet with all those women who are like, oh, I've made this amazing life for myself and I'm gonna like spend zero money on rent and move into my van and pursue my passions and do cool shit and also like make money and have a cool life. My wildest dream is that there's like some girl sitting at a computer being like, oh, I really want to do this van thing, but I'm really nervous and like it seems so unattainable. And then like scrolling through and seeing these videos and being like, oh shit, like this girl's doing it in a Toyota truck and this girl's doing it in a Sprinter van and this girl's doing it in an Astro van and this girl's doing it in an Econo line. And like, oh my God, like look at all these options that I have, um, I could do this. I guess I'd like to see a world where women feel more comfortable hitting the road and taking control of their lives, more women rock climbing. And I think it is changing. I hope that I can be a part of that change. Do what you love, have a good time. Be nice to people. Really, you know, yeah. the golden rule. Yeah. All the things you learned in first grade are probably good things to take with you to the grave. Head on, on that open road.